Hello, everyone. Hello. The show will begin now. Um, thank you all so much for coming, for, for tuning in to Piano Bar with Alex Bechtel. I'm uh, coming at you from my home in South Philly right now. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun for the next hour. We're going to make some cocktails and we're going to sing some songs. And we're going to talk all about, about Father's Day. But before we start, I, uh, I want to start by saying how inspired I've been by all the people in Philly and all over the world who have been showing up and leaning in over the past few weeks to support Black Lives Matter and to speak out against violence to trans people, especially Black trans women. Um, I wanted to say thank you for fighting for these things. Thank you for not allowing a global pandemic to overwhelm you into complacency. There are so many ways that you, you can support these movements, big ways, small ways, all the ways in between. Um, if you can't march and protest, but you have some money that you would like to give, then please give it to the organizations that are fighting for justice and equality in these difficult times. And today, uh, I wanted to signal boost two organizations that I'm giving to this week. Uh, the first is the Philadelphia chapter of Black Lives Matter. And you can support Black Lives Matter Philly in, in many, many ways. Uh, you can look up which of your favorite local businesses are donating portions of their sales, which is pretty fun, actually. Uh, you can, for another... I think like seven hours, go to the Wilma Theater Company's Facebook and make a donation. Uh, and you can watch James Imes' incredible play, Killing of Paradise. Or you can just donate directly at uh, blmphilly.com, as the little scroller says. And the second organization that I'm featuring uh, this week is Morris Home. Morris Home provides support for trans and gender nonconforming people. Uh, it's the only residential recovery program in the country that offers comprehensive services specifically for the transgender community. Uh, trans rights are under attack and trans women of color are under attack. So please support this incredible organization. If you believe in these things, if you believe that Black Lives Matter and you believe that trans rights are human rights, but you've been too lost in the fog of the last few months to support, it's not too late to do so. Reach out to any of your friends online who are taking action and supporting and they will help you to figure out where to start. So I'm gonna put links to both Black Lives Matter Philly and Morris Home into the comments and doing it right Meow, boom, I think that works. I really hope this is all working. Um, and again, thank you all so much who have been fighting for these things. It's really, really important work. Um, the work that I have to do over the next hour is less important, but I hope really fun. So let's, let's do a scene change. I'm gonna walk you into the illustrious kitchen here. We're calling this little show Piano Bar, Piano Slash Bar, because I'm gonna spend the first part of the show teaching you how to make a classic cocktail, and the second part of the show drinking that classic cocktail, and bonus that you're here. Um, and today, the classic cocktail that I'm going to be teaching you how to make is the Manhattan. And I put teaching in quotes because um, I am by no means an expert. I'm not even a professional alcohol person. Um, so what I'm really gonna do is make myself a Manhattan the way that I make a Manhattan and tell you about it. So if you have Manhattan fixins, if you have rye or bourbon, you have, uh, Angostura bitters, and you have sweet vermouth, and you have some ice, get them out. We're gonna make a Manhattan together. Um, I have these like fancy bar things here. 
because uh, I have an older brother who is a fancy alcohol person, who is a professional fancy alcohol person. And everything that I have that is fancy and has to do with alcohol pretty much comes from my older brother, Greg. So thanks, Greg, for all of that. Um, the best thing about a Manhattan, in my opinion, is that it's very easy to make. And the second best thing is that it's alcohol mixed with alcohol mixed with alcohol. <laughs> so uh, one of them goes a long way. We'll start with a little bitters. We're gonna uh, take your cocktail shaker or your mixing glass or whatever you got and just like a shake a shake of two little shakes of bitters down there at the bottom um, and put it away for safekeeping. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some ice, a couple of cubes of ice. Toss them in your mixing glass, your shaker. And then we're gonna take one of these fancy little measuring cocktail thingies. You don't really need one of these. What you really need is a way to measure one part of something and then a half of that of the other thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the large one, the two outside, we're gonna fill it with whiskey. I think there is like a thing uh, for a while, I was like pretending to be a cocktail snob. I mean, I was a cocktail snob. I was pretending to know things about cocktails, which I think was really bad for the people who were spending time with me during that time in my life. But uh, now I know that a lot of cocktail snobs are like, it's not a Manhattan if it's not made with rye whiskey. Well, then whatever I'm making, I'm making this with bourbon. Two ounces of bourbon. We're gonna toss it in there. And I'm using a uh, Kinsey bourbon from New Liberty Distilling in Fishtown. I walked from South Philly to Fishtown using my feet to get that bourbon. So I exercised to get alcohol, which is sort of like a positive and a negative mixed together. Uh, and then we're gonna take sweet vermouth. And we're gonna do one ounce of that small side. Toss that in there. And then the one thing that I know, the one fancy thing that I know, is that you have to stir a Manhattan. So we're just gonna stir and chat. My older br brother used to sort of like create cocktail recipes and send them to me, and he would have really interesting uh, things in the instructions about like how long to stir. It was never like stir for 60 seconds or 30 seconds or like shake for 20 seconds. It was always like shake until your fingers freeze against the shaker. I actually kind of think it's great. Um, I'm just gonna stir this up. It's probably good. And then I am going to uh, garnish with, uh, what do I have to garnish? This is the thing I always forget because I don't actually care that much about it. I think that I'm going to steal one of my roommate's Luxardo chairs. Or maybe he took them. <laughs> I think my roommate took his Luxardo cherries to Ohio to visit his family, which is actually really on brand for him. Um, so I'm not gonna garnish with anything, because I don't care. I don't care, at me, come at me. Um, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna pour it into this beautiful little glass that was a gift from Theater Horizon favorite, Leah Cato, who you may remember from Into the Woods and other sundry productions in Philadelphia and beyond. She's a lovely person. She gave me these cocktail glasses. So I'm just gonna pour it in there. Cheers, y'all. It's pretty good. Second thing I'm gonna do, because it's important, is I'm going to pour myself a tall glass of water with ice, because it's important to stay hydrated.
and just to like really round out the insufferable hipster vibe that I've been trying to cultivate for years, I'm just gonna use a mason jar as a water glass. So, uh, oh no, I can't bring all my beverages and you at the same time, so I'm gonna bring you and then my beverages. I'm gonna walk you to the living room and put you down here at the piano. And uh, I'll be right back with my beverages. Don't go anywhere. All right, welcome back. Um, so, on this uh, season premiere of Piano Bar with Alex Bechtel, it's also the Father's Day special. And listen, there's a lot of fathery songs that I could play, but I'm not gonna make any of us suffer through like Cats in the Cradle and the Silver Spoon, because that's just, emotional torture. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, songs that remind me of the fathers in my life. Um, I'll play some of those. So the first one is a song that uh, I think about all the time when I think about my, my dad. Um, it combines a lot of our favorite things. It combines one of his favorite things, which is James Taylor with one of my favorite things, which is musical theater. So the song that James Taylor wrote for musical. So dad, if you're watching, happy Father's Day. Grandfather was a sailor, he blew in off the water. My father was a farmer, and I his only daughter. I took up with no good mill working man from Massachusetts. He died from too much whiskey and left me these three faces feet. Mill working easy, mill working hard, mill working nothing but an awful boring job. I can ride home in the evenings, staring at my hands, swearing in the sorrow that a young girl ought to stand a better chance. It's me and my machine for the rest of the morning and the rest of the afternoon and the rest of my life. Vessels and cargoes and 
fortunes and sailors lives we love it's my life that's wasted and i have been fooled so that this manufacturer is my buddy for a tool and i'm waiting for a daydream to take me through the morning to put me in my coffee break I can have a sandwich in the mill. So may I work the mill just as long as I am able. Never meet the man whose name is on the label. You can be in my machine for the rest of the morning and the rest of the afternoon. And the rest of my It's such a great song. It's a, uh, it's from a musical called Working, which I actually think Theater Horizon did back in the day. Um, and the recording of it that I know and love and that my dad knows and loves and played all the time is from that James Taylor Live album. Just so, 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 so good. Um, okay, y'all. Here's how the rest of this is gonna work. I'm gonna play for a while. And I'm gonna try and play things that I think you'll like. Um, I promise not to play too many originals because I feel like tuning into sort of like a songwriter playing songs, like a non-famous songwriter and they play just originals, unless that's what you tuned in for. It's like, come on. It's like when you go see a band and you're like, why aren't you playing songs from my favorite album? Why are you playing all these new songs? But I digress. But feel free to send in some requests here in the chat if you have a song you'd like to hear or an artist you'd like to hear, and if I know it, I'll play it. And if I don't know it, I'll look it up. If I think I know it, I'll fake it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna play a few more songs. We can chat. I'll also say that I've always wanted to do a show like this where I, uh, don't make a set list and I just sort of like come out and play whatever feels right. Um, so that's sort of what I'm gonna do, uh, which is scary and fun. Like I haven't actually been nervous like this in a long time, which feels good. Here's a song I like. Let's meet in a respectable dive on a somewhat safe street and have a beer. We both kept our eyes on the ball we know the lyrics to them all these songs of cheese maybe i love you and i do not want But I'm not able to put my cards on the table. And if you only knew of the hand I've been holding, you would 
be blushing and I am so far from bluffing I know I know that we never play cards or send postcards when we are both in the same town but still I remember some notes on the kitchen counter back from work that I found Oh maybe I love you And I do not want to lose you But I'm not able to put my cards on the table And if you only knew of the hand I've been holding, you would be blushing when I'm so far from loving. And it's respect. Baby, I love you. Baby, I love you. Rufus Wainwright. Okay, a couple of requests. I will take a request that satisfies hopefully both Dan uh, O'Neill and Mina Kawahara's requests. And I'll follow that up with a country song, Margaret Spencer. But, uh, oh my God, if you haven't watched Rocket Man yet, watch Rocket Man. Oh, I generally think that all music biopics are, are bad, and Rocket Man is not bad. gonna come down when I go to land should have stayed on the farm should have listened to my old man I know you can't hope forever I didn't sign up with you not a present boyfriend to open it's boys too young to be singing about the so goodbye, every road where the dogs of society howl. You can't play me in your penthouse. Going back to my belong, back to the wild woods on the wall of that toe. Side of my future lies beyond the other great world. I did think you'd do that. You think you'd shoot down the plane. Not a present for your friend, too. Oh, that's not right. It'd take you a couple of vodka and tonics to get you on your feet again. Maybe you'll get a replacement. It's plenty like me to be found. I know you ain't got a plenty. Sniffing for tidbits like you on the Going back to my 
There you go. Uh, this is a little uh, Elton John for you. So, country song, country song. Listen, I love country songs, especially uh, sort of like old timey classic country, country songs. And one of the songs I wanted to play uh, for my dad on this special Father's Day episode of Piano Bar with Alex Bechtel. I think the best thing about new shows is when they refer to themselves like they've always existed. Anyway. Uh, one of the songs I wanted to play is this country song that he loves. I don't know who wrote it. I think I, I think the recording that we heard of it and that sort of like permeated my house growing up um, was also a James Taylor recording. But topical for Piano Bar Without Expecto, this is the Bartender's Blues. <laughs> I'm just a bartender. I don't like my work. But I don't mind money at all. See lots of sad cases. Lots of sad faces. Folks with their backs to the wall. I need four walls around me to hold my life and keep me from going astray. I need a honky tonk angel to hold me tight and keep me from slipping away. I can light up your smokes. I can laugh at your jokes. I can watch you fall down on your knees. I can lock up this bar. I can get in my car. I can drive off and mail back my keys. But I need four walls around me to hold my life To keep me from going astray I need a honky-tonk angel to hold me tight To keep me from slipping away the air in this honky-tonk bar and I'm thinking about where I'd rather be but I burned all my bridges I sank all my ships and I'm stranded at the edge of the sea I need four walls around me to hold my life and keep me from going 
straight. Honky tonk angel, hold me tight to keep me from slipping away. Keep me from slipping away. There you go. We got a couple more requests. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I could do a talking head song, sure. I already have my guitar, which is, um, this is one of my favorite talking head songs. We're on the road to nowhere. Come on inside. Taking that ride to nowhere. We'll take that ride. We are feeling okay this morning. And you know. We are on a road to paradise. Here we go. Here we go. We are on a road to nowhere. Come on inside. Take that ride to nowhere. We'll take that ride. Maybe you wonder where you are. I don't care. We're on a road to paradise. Take me there. Take me there. There's a city in my mind, come along and take that ride, it's alright, baby, it's alright. And it's very far away, but it's growing day by day, it's alright, baby, it's alright. Would you help me come along, you can help me sing this song, it's alright, it's alright. They can tell you what to do, but they'll make a fool of you, and it's all right, baby, it's all right. There's a city in my mind, come on and take that ride, it's all right, baby, it's all right. And it's very far away, but it's growing day by day, and it's all right, baby, it's all right. You can help me come along, you can help me sing the song, it's all right. Baby, it's all right, and they'll tell you what to do, but they'll make a fool of you, and it's all right. Baby, it's all right. We're on the road to nowhere. We're on the road to nowhere. We're on the road to Nowhere. We're on a road to nowhere. I turned off all my fans and it's it's hot in here now. I'm gonna turn this fan on because I have a 20 more minutes and I'm not gonna I'm not I can't just get hotter. So If that significantly diminishes the quality of the experience, please tell me and I will turn the fan off. But it helps me. Um, yell at me in the comments if you can now not hear um, because of the fan that I just turned on. So I'm gonna play one more guitar song and then I'm gonna put the guitar away and play and return to the piano. Um,
there are a lot of uh, fathers in my life, it turns out. My father, who I love dearly, who is like such an incredible example and uh, inspiration to me. My grandfather, uh, Stan Rosanis, who is amazing, uh, one of a kind, and truly an incredible, incredible person, an incredible father and husband and grandfather. Uh, my uncles, Tom and Charlie, there's so many wonderful examples of, of fathers. But something that I never expected growing up <laughs> and being a younger person, and now that I'm not a younger person, is that a couple years ago, my older brother would become a father. Um, and watching my older brother be a parent has become one of the most awe-inspiring and moving events of my life. Um, and in the continued tradition of this show, this next song is not sappy. It's not. It's not even that kind of song. It's just a song that my older brother shared with me. I, as you've already seen, like I inherited a bunch of sort of like fancy cocktail knowledge from my brother. The reason that I won't drink normal beer and will only <laughs> drink expensive beer is because my brother knows so much about it and I've always looked up to him so much. And early on, my brother was like, there's this thing called Spotify you can get any song ever. And I was like, okay, whatever, leave me alone. I have to write in my lab journal. Uh, but he shared these early Spotify links with me and my brother Danny and started sending us songs. And it was like, of course, it became the way that we all listen to music now. Um, and I'm super grateful for it. Uh, and this next song is a song he introduced to me and I love this song. Did you hear about me? Me and what I've done. I wrote a letter to Sweet Louise. I confess my love. And I thought that you'd have heard of it by now. Been alive long enough to know things just get around. And everybody probably thinks I'm crazy. But I can tell you now that I fell in love and I couldn't help myself. It was like a movie watching her eyes read. What I wrote made sweet Louise weak in the knees. Oh, I thought you would have heard of it by now. Been alive long enough to know that things just get around. And everybody probably thinks I'm crazy. But I can tell you now that I fell in love. And I couldn't help myself. I just fell in love. And I couldn't help myself. In that moment, I knew from her eyes she doesn't feel the same. But all my were not in vain Cause I can always say Till the day I die I told her anyway I can tell you now That I fell in love And I couldn't help myself I just fell in love and I couldn't help myself. I just fell in love. It's a great song. The Bell Brigade. 
was the name of that band, the Bell Brigade. Um, all right. I should, maybe, I, maybe I should play one original. I'll play one original. I will leave this scroll going in case you just tuned in and you want to request a song. Oh, my, uh, my Aunt Peach is here and requested a Ben Fold song. I'll play a Ben Fold song after this. Um. <laughs> I will play an original song that is light and fun and simple, and that I always forget that I wrote until um, my friend Brian Ratcliffe, who used to be my roommate, will like email me videos of him trying to learn how to play it. Thanks, Brian, for keeping this song alive. <laughs> pants shit and it cost a fortune but hell you gotta live a little who knows when we'll all be here again and look we brought someone special she's standing in your foyer it's been a while but she wants to see you. She's got a few things to say to you. Why don't you come down, open the door, and see if it feels like before. Bobby's in the lobby and she's waiting for you, man. Somehow she still loves you, so believe it if you can. Hurry, baby, this may be your last chance. Bobby.
Okay. We're rounding third here on the season premiere of, um, on the season premiere of Piano Bar with Alex Beckel. And I'm gonna play some deep and spacey chords while I decide in the back of my head which Ben Fold song I'm gonna play at the request of my Aunt Peach. Sometimes I get the feeling I won't be on this planet for very long. I really like it here. I'm quite attached to it. I hope I'm wrong. All I really want to say is you're the reason I want to stay. I loved you before I met you. I met you just in time when there was nothing left. Stood here on the corner of our one bedroom apartment till the sun went down. I packed up all my stuff and then I went and drove away. You must be freaking out. All I know is I gotta be where my heart says I gotta be. It often makes no sense, I know. I never understand these things I feel. But don't change your plans for me. I won't move to LA. The leaves are falling back east. That's where I'm gonna stop. All I know is I gotta be where my heart says I gotta be. It often makes no sense. I know I never understood these things I feel. Benefits. We got about five minutes left. Keep it in A major. I want to say uh, thank you to everybody at Theater Horizon for helping put this together. I want to say happy Father's Day to everybody. It's a nice day to celebrate our families, both our given families and our chosen families. Here's a song in A to take us out. This is the first day of the future. All I want is you. I wear a pair of socks you left here. I know, I know, I know nobody can ever fill your shoes. I can see so clearly when you smoke, it's in my eyes. Tease me with your promises and hurt me with your lies. 
may be catching me. The message that I'm sending, love me like the world is ending. This is the last day of existence. All I want is you. There's a certain sadness. But I know, I know, I know the sky is what makes the ocean. I know, I know, I know the sky is what makes the ocean. I can see so clearly when the smoke gets in my hands. Tease me with your promises and hurt me with your lies. Baby, can't you hear the message that I'm sending? Love me like the world is ending. Love me like the world is ending. They all say to pour it has to rain. So don't complain when you get wet in the deep end. This is the first day of the future. All I want is you. Wearing a pair of socks you left here. I know, I know, I know nobody can never fill your shoes. I know, I know, I know nobody can never fill your shoes. I can see so clearly where the smoke gets in my hands. Tease me with your promises and hurt me with your lies. Baby, can't you hear? Message that I'm sending. Love me like the world is ending. Love me like the world is ending. Love me like the world is ending. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Thanks for sharing this little happy hour with me. We'll do it again same time next week. Happy Father's Day to everyone. Thank you all so much. I'm going to post the links one more time to uh, Morris Home and Black Lives Matter Philly. Please give what you can. And I'll see you next week.